Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Take a Bite with Turtle. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through two different things I can do with rice paper. It's going to be a porkless pork rind and porkless bacon as well. First thing I'm going to take you through is the equipment list and what you're going to need. You're going to need a mixing bowl, tongs, a pair of scissors, good old trusty measuring spoon, a pastry brush, and a whisk. First thing first, I'm going to take you guys through how to make the rice paper bacon. What you're going to do is you're going to take one piece of rice paper, like such. You're going to go ahead and cut it in half. Doesn't matter how it looks. Uh, you know, pork rind, pork rinds look different. All of them aren't the same. So you're going to cut them. Triangles, circles, whatever, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Then you're going to have your pan over here. I have my induction burner. And it has a little bit of vegetable oil in it. And, my, and it's been heating already. You're just going to take your rice paper. And you're going to throw it right in there just like that. All right. Now you want to make sure that it puffs up and goes all the way white. Just like that. Once it's completely done, it'll crisp all the way up. You can season these any type of way. Today I'm going to do this with a uh, barbecue. A little bit of barbecue seasoning that I bought from the store, very easy. Um, you can do it with garlic powder that gives you a good funion flavor as well. And there you have it. You've got your pork rinds. You take your barbecue sauce, sprinkle right on top. There you go. Just like that. All right. Next, I'm going to take you guys through how to make my bacon. You're going to take your rice paper and you're going to cut it into strips. You can use that same rice paper. You want to make cut it into strips like it looks like bacon. Just like that. And you're going to put it on your sheet tray. Just like such. And then you're going to take your mixing bowl. And you're going to go ahead and add four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. That's one, two, three. Four. All right. You're going to do a half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Uh, I'm using smoked paprika because it gives it a better smoky taste. And then you're going to do half a teaspoon of your garlic powder as well. All right. Go ahead and do six tablespoons of Soy sauce. You can use tamari if you don't have soy sauce. Tamari is a gluten-free soy sauce. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Now, I've been trying to make this vegan bacon forever. I tried it with tofu first. Uh, it didn't quite do as well for me as as, uh, as I thought it would. I uh, couldn't get the pieces as crispy as I wanted. So I found out that if you use um, your rice paper, it does it has the same effect. And I'm just using that mixture from my tofu for the rice paper. All right, you're going to use four tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin, two, three, and four. All right. Now, my one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ingredients is liquid smoke. It can turn anything into smoky flavor, just like that. One, you're going to do a half, a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke in there. And now for the last, you're going to use one tablespoon of maple syrup. Also gives it a sweet and smoky flavor. If you see the profile that I'm going for right now, is more of a smoky bacon flavor. When that's done, you're going to go ahead and take your whisk and you're going to make sure this is incorporated as nicely as possible. It should be a little bit wet. Easy to brush on. 
You can smell the smoke. You can smell all the paprika. You can also taste it if you need to. You don't really have to. So once that is all mixed together, you're going to go ahead and grab your pastry brush and you're going to go ahead and lightly coat each piece of rice paper with this mixture, just like that, okay? Depending on how smoky you want it, it's up to you. Be gentle because the rice paper does break. It does get a little bit more flimsy once it is hits the air. So just a small coating of it works. And you're going to bake this in the oven for about five minutes. Make sure you keep an eye on it. It could be less at a 400 degree, in a, in a 400 degree oven. Um, this has been another episode of Take a Bite with Turtle. Hope you guys try this recipe. This porkless pork rind and this vegan bacon is so good. You can put it on any type of sandwich. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, thank you guys so much yet again for watching another episode of Take a Bite with Turtle. Hope you guys try these rice paper porkless pork rinds and the vegan bacon as well. Um, you know, you can find me on Instagram at underscore evolvegan. That's underscore E-V-O-L-V-E-G-A-N. I'm going to get this one time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, any suggestions on what I should do next in the next video, please let me know. Like a hell cut.